Another big international trending story we're following. A trio of scientists have given humanity a new tool for exploring the movement of electrons inside atoms and molecules. And that groundbreaking work was honored today with the world's top prize in science. The Nobel Foundation in Stockholm, Sweden is handing out its hardware this week, today announcing the winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics. They discovered a way to, ch to study changes in electrons by creating pulses of light that last only an attosecond, a unit of time equal to about a billionth of a billionth of a second. Students and colleagues surprised French professor Anne Leher outside her office at Lund University in Sweden after she found out she had won. The Secretary General of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences calling her this morning. Please accept our warmest congratulations for receiving the Domel Prize in Physics 2023. Thank you very much. It's uh, just fantastic. Yeah. Thank you a lot. She, along with Pierre Agostini and Ferenc Krauss, are sharing the prize for their work using pulses of light to study the behavior of electrons. This is about attosecond physics. The ability to generate attosecond pulses of light has opened the door on a tiny, extremely tiny time scale. So if you take a second and you divide it into a billion, and then you take one of those things and divide it a billion times again, you get 10 to the minus 18 or one attosecond. And these short pulses of light are interesting to study how electrons uh, move around in, uh, in atoms, for example, when they form a chemical bond or something like this. Electrons are subatomic particles with a negative charge and are believed to be elementary particles as they have no known components. Along with protons and neutrons, they make up the building blocks of an atom, and atoms make up everything in the universe. And the electrons are really the workhorse in everywhere, in our daughters, and the electrons are controlling all chemical reactions. They are, of course, also very important in gadgets like this that we were all have. Changes in electrons happen in just a few tenths of an attosecond, meaning the discovery will allow physicists to better study and understand how they work. Our main goal is to gain ever deeper insight into microscopic phenomena that profoundly affect uh, our life. Winner Ferenc Krauss and his team in Germany generated the first ultra-fast pulses in the early 2000s and has previously likened attosecond physics to a fast shutter camera where the short light flashes allow a freeze-frame look within a microscopic entity. Here you see three what we call attosecond beam lines, uh, which are our high-speed cameras. The final winner, French physicist Pierre Agostini, was shocked by the news, saying it was his daughter who told him. My daughter called me and uh, she was asking, is it true that you have the Nobel Prize? <laughs> of course I told her, no, this can't be true. The awards will be handed out at an annual ceremony this December.